16.8b, Distance and Revenue Problems, Revenue. The revenue equation is the number of items times the price equals the revenue. In other words, we have NP equals R. Now beware the profit is equal to the amount you get after expenses are paid. So to solve, we divide by what we want to solve for. So in our first example here, we have a group of college students who bought a couch for $80. So we have the number of students times the price that they were each going to pay equals 80. However, five of them failed to pay, so that means the number is going to be take five off, and then the, they had to pay eight dollars more, so that means the price is going to go up eight, and they still have to pay a total of eighty dollars for the couch. So we have, we're going to make this really short, we want to know how many students, so we're wanting to know n, so we're going to divide by n, that means P equals 80 over N. And then we want to divide this whole thing by N minus 5. So we're going to get P plus 8 equals 80 over N minus 5. Substitute this in for our P. And we get 80 over n plus 8 equals 80 over n minus 5. Multiply by our LCD, which is going to be n times n minus 5. So we're going to get 80 times n minus 5 plus 8n times n minus 5 equal to 80n. So now we have 80n minus 400 plus 8n squared minus 40n equal to 80n. Now because I have 80n on both sides of the equal sign, when I move one of them over, that becomes 0, leaving me with 8n squared minus 40n minus 400 equal to 0. We're going to divide all of those by 8, so we get n squared minus 5n minus 40, sorry, not minus 40, minus 50, there we go, that's better equal to 0. This will factor out as n minus 10 and n plus 5 equal to 0. n plus, plus 5 gives us a negative answer, so we ignore that one. Therefore, we're going to get that n equals 10. So there was 10 people in our original group. In our second example, we have a merchant who bought several pieces of silk for um, $70. So we have NP equals 70. And then on our second equation, he sold all but 2. So we're going to take 2 off of our n for a profit of four dollars a piece, so we have P plus four, and his total profit was eighteen, so we're taking seventy plus eighteen to get how much he'd sold, because we're if we took seventy, or we have to take eighteen off of this total price 
or we have to remove take off this cost to get his um, actual profit so we're going to get 88 here we want to know how many pieces he sold so that means we're going to divide by n and divide by n minus 2 so now we have p equals 70 over n and p plus 4 equals 88 over n minus 2 so we now have 70 over n plus 4 equal to 88 over n minus 2 multiply by our LCD and we're gonna get n times n minus 2 so we now have 70 times n minus 2 plus 4 times oh, n times n minus 2 equal to 88 n so now we have 70 n minus 140 plus 4n squared minus 8n equal to 88n. Okay, and that gives us 4n squared plus 62n minus 140 equal to 88n. Now let's get our 88 on the other side. So we now have 4n squared minus 26n minus 70 equal to 0. Everything's divisible by 2. So we have 2n squared minus 13n Oh, I'm sorry, this is supposed to be 140. That's what we get after we divide by 2. Okay, this factors easily enough. We have 2n and 7 and 10. This one will give us a negative answer, so we're not interested in that. And so we get that n equals 10. So we had 10 pieces of s silk to start with.